Because it says that the spirit of the Lord, the Lord is upon me. To send me to preach good news to the poor. So he's sending out people to preach the good news. So Katonda, but not just to, cure, to, to preach the good news, but to heal also the brokenhearted. The one who is sad, they can experience inner healing. You know, many people in this generation now are unhappy. And also, many people are in bondage. Then we can have freedom for these people and comfort all who are mourning a sad and are all of gladness. Now, every time I pray now, every time I pray, the joy of the Lord will come. This is something you can, you know, reach one day. Even here in these two days, if you open your heart, and if you feel joy flowing through you, you relax. And you could feel joy flowing through you. You know the day when I experience the joy of the Lord? The day that I experience the joy of the Lord? I really want to keep it. So on the way home in the bus, on the way home in the bus, I kept loving the Lord. And the joy kept coming. But I did not laugh out loudly. I did not laugh out loudly. I just laughed like this. And then when I went home, when I went home, please pay attention. When I went home, I let the joy fill me again. And every day after that, I keep the joy of the Lord up to today. Any time I open my heart, <laughs> and the joy will keep coming. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I did, not, I did not make myself laugh. It's the joy of the Holy Spirit. And the power of the Holy Spirit is going through my whole body too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, and when you're like that, <laughs> when you have burdens and worries, when you pray, the joy will come through. And when you pray for people, if their heart is open, they can experience the joy of the Lord too. And then they can keep the anointing and bring the joy of the Lord. Bring the joy of the Lord to people. Now I hope that you're all hungry for the joy of the Lord. Just learn to be free. Now, now I told some people, be free. You can shake your body. Jesus, I love you. I love you. I hate you. I want you. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, some people can experience the joy of the Lord if they really hunger for God and believe that God is a joyful God and put down the burdens and don't mind laughing in front of people. They can experience greater joy. They can experience greater joy. Okay, Mark 16, verses 17 to 18. 
17 to 18. Verse 6, 17 to 18. Mark yeah. 16. Mark 16, verse 17 to 18. Mark 16. Mark 16, verse 17 to there it says that miracles will follow those who believe. They will, lay, they will cast out demons in my name. And then in the in in end of verse 18, and lay, they will lay hand on the sick and they will be healed. So here is a promise that how many people can lay hand on people? How many? How many people can lay out? How many? Answer my question. Answer my question. How many? What does the verse say? How many people can lay out on the sick? How many people? Answer. Answer the question. What does, what does the Bible say? Bible Miracles will follow those. Who believe. So everyone can do it. If you're willing to follow God. And take care of your problems. You can lay hands on the sick. You can cast out demons. And then you can see that your life. It can be very fruitful. Okay, and then Romans 15 verses 18 to 19. Abarumi, Kuminatano, Okutandika, Kuminamunana, Pakakuminamuenda. I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me in leading the Gentiles to obey God. But what I've said and done by the power of signs and miracles through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now when you read, please turn around so people can hear you. Turn around. Turn around. Agamba what? Kumanga siri anga anga kogera chigambo chuna wabula Kristo cheya cheya ngoza urokuli da kwaba wama kwaba mawanga mchigambo ne mubi korwa orondumans. Eh. Mumani mumani gobo banero nebi amagero mumani mumani gomo yo omtukovu. Bechitio Okuva Muyer Salemi, no Queto Rora, no Queto Rora, Okutuka Muyeriko Nakito Kiriza, Natu Kiriza Engiri, Ya Christo. Okay, so it says, By what I've said and done. Mji, one of Gamba. So in evangelism, it's not just what we say, but also what we do. What do we do? By the power of science and miracles through the power of the Holy Spirit. So what we do are miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. God has promised us that we can carry miracles with us. And, and these verses tell us that in evangelism, it's not just what we say, but also what we do together. Now in Mark chapter 16 verse 20 You can write this down Mark 16 verse 20 There it says that the signs are to prove the word of God To support the word of God The miracles are to show people that the, the Bible is the word of God so the people will believe the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. 
And also 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 4 to 5. Now, here it says that my message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the spirit, Spirit's power, so that your faith may not rest on man's wisdom, but on God's power. First question, about my colleagues, I just woke up, Billy, Nya Pakatan. Okay, just yeah, read. Read. And what you did? Aga Mantinesi Gamma Change, no Kuburga Kwangi, Tebia Banga, Mobigambo, Bia Magazi, Ebi Senda Senda, Wabura, Mokotegeza Kuomoyo, Naman. Okay, so this verse says that also, the, you know, the preaching of Paul was with a demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on. The preaching of Paul was a demonstration of the Spirit's power. So it's not just the word of God, but also has the power of the Holy Spirit. So that your faith will not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. So it depends, doesn't depend on God's men's wisdom, but on God's power. So what it says is that that our preaching also has the power of the Holy Spirit with us. So when we pray for people who experience the Holy Spirit, they, they are changed by the power of the Holy Spirit also. Okay, now, we have talked about the verses that talk about the work of the Holy Spirit. There, there is one more, one more verse, Romans 5.5. 5. You can just interpret from my yes. wording. Yeah. That the Holy Spirit has poured the love of God into our heart. The Holy Spirit can bring the love of God into our hearts. So when we pray for people, they can experience the love of God. So from all these verses, you can see that God is really full of love and mercy and joy and healing. So when we pray for people with the power of the Holy Spirit, people can experience the presence of God. And then you can bring people to Christ. And bring people to love God. Okay, now how can we have the power of the Holy Spirit? Okay, write this down. First, write this down. No, no, no. Write this down. 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 this down. Write this down. Write this down. Write this down. Write this down. How to be, you know, how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. First is hate sin and give up sins. Okay, number one. You know that God doesn't like sins. Any sin will destroy a spiritual life. And when we hate sin and give up our sins, God is happy. Number two, believe in the Bible. The Bible has many promises. God will keep his promises. 
You know, I have faith in God because I hold on to the Bible. Number three. Have faith that God really wants to fill us with the Holy Spirit. Some people say, God, where are you? Where are you? But I hope you have faith like this. God, you want to fill me with the Holy Spirit. You want to come to bless me. When I open my heart, you come to me. So believe that God really wants to fill us. So when you pray, don't say, God, where are you? But say, God, you want to feel me. You want to bless me. I can just enjoy you. Okay, number four. Okay, number four. Worship in spirit and in truth as long as you can. Where is the memorial? Okay. Now, many people pray just with the mouth. Just with the mouth. Thank God. Thank God. But worship in spirit and in truth. The whole spirit worship God. Now we have the soul, spirit and the soul. Now write it, it is down. Spirit and soul. Write it down. Spirit and soul. And the soul includes the mind, the will, and the feeling. The mind, the will, and the feeling. First, the mind say everything in the Bible is true. I agree that God is good. My mind agrees with everything God says. You know, in my mind, I really say God is the best. With God, everything will turn good. Without God, everything will turn bad. Number two, my will, the will. You know, even though I'm 66 years old, I want to live as long as I can. Actually, I'm happy to go to heaven today. I'm happy to go to heaven today. But I want to live to 100 years old or longer. I want to live to 100 years old or longer. So that I can bless more people. So I can go to more places. It's not for myself. So my will is, my life is for God. I give my life to God. Do you want to live like that? You know, if you give your life to God, and every day enjoy the presence of God, your life will be transformed. And then number three, the feeling. Let me ask you. Feeling. Eh? Do you have feelings toward your family members? Do you? Do you like your family members? Do you like your friends? Do you like your friends? Do you like your house? If you have a dog, do you like your dog? You like what you have, right? So But let me ask you, do you really like God? 
When many people think of God, they think of God like a church. They think God is far away. But this morning we talk about God is ministering to us all the time. And when you eat food, do you think of God? God has created all this delicious food so you can enjoy so when you eat you can say thank God for your love or even just relax now try, try this relax take a deep breath Take a deep breath again. Close your eyes. Do you feel good? Even a deep breath makes us feel good. I tell you. I tell you, God is very good. Everything God does is very good. The joy of the Lord is very good. <laughs> the love of God is very good. So I hope you like God. If you like God all the time, you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit very easily. You know, many people believe in God, but they don't really like God. I hope you can worship with feelings, I like God. And also your whole spirit worship God. In Psalm 103 verse 1. All that is in me, praise his holy name. All that is in me, praise his holy name. So when you praise God, praise with all that is inside you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the whole being praise God and you spend more time doing that you can experience the Holy Spirit much more powerfully. Worship in spirit and in truth. First with the soul. The whole mind, the will, and the feelings. And the whole spirit. So it's not just saying, God, I like you. But the whole spirit likes God. That you say, God, I like you. Praise His holy name. Worship the Lord. And then you can be filled with the Holy Spirit very easily. Okay, number five. Really hunger for God. I want more of you. I want to be with you. And then number six. Obey God. 
and preach the gospel because the Holy Spirit is for evangelism so the Holy Spirit spirit, you know really want to obey God and number seven take care of different problems in life Take care of different problems in life. Put down our worries, our sins, our sadness, our anger, and love God totally. Okay, let me go through this again. How to be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is something you do every day. Not just here. Here, when we pray for you, you experience the Holy Spirit coming upon you. But if you don't keep the Holy Spirit, his presence will go away gradually. You have to spend long time, at least half an hour, loving God every day. Spend long time, at least half an hour every day to love God. Okay, let me go through this again. One. Hate sin and give up sins. Stop. Stop the kids. Number two, believe the Bible. Number three, have faith God really wants to fill us. Have faith that God really wants to fill us. Number four, worship in spirit and in truth. Number five, hunger for God. Number, number six, obey God and preach the gospel. Number seven, take care of different problems in life. It is not hard to be filled with the Holy Spirit. But it can be very hard. It can be very hard if you are lazy. If your heart is not on God, it's very hard. But if, but if you like God and you spend time with God, it's not hard at all. So when you pray for people, you can, after the prayer, in the prayer, you will love God. And after the prayer, you can ask them. Now ask, ask the people to say it with you. You tell them to say this with you. You. Yeah. What I'm going to say, yeah. tell them to say it with you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What you say is, please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? So you say this, tell them to say it with you. Yeah. Please keep your eyes closed and have you experienced anything during the prayer? <laughs> Close their eyes. Now, after you pray for the person, you say, please, you say, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. And then you say, please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Okay. Okay. Tell them to say it after you. Yeah. Tell them to say it with you. Yeah. Please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Tell them to say it with you. Washington, put this in the center, his face front, like that. Okay, tell them to say it with you. Yeah. You, you say very long. I'm just saying just two sentences. Just yes. tell them to say. Please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? Just, just two sentences. Yes. Two things. Two things. Just yeah. say. 
Ah, same. same. Yeah, yeah, I have understood. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. 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 Kikamba kumango umazoku sabiro muntu vino bjo mukamba yenge na kugera ngobi kora si ngobi damu tobi kora eh wapo la ngobi damu bje njogera mukama feebazi eh nti nti gomaro kusaba kaga mazoku musabira mukambi zibidi zamas yo chogere zibidi zamas saba iya kaga ni gomaro kusaba omuboza chichi chora bje chidemu chichi chora bje yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, if they have experienced something, like peace or love or joy, or comfort, and you tell them God has blessed you, and then you say, Do you want Jesus to continue to bless you? And then you tell them the gospel. Jesus has died for you on the cross to pay for your sins to pay for your sins do you want Jesus to forgive you and a person is willing then you lead the person to Christ to believe in Jesus Okay. Now I'm going to ask two persons who really want to open the spirit to God. That it's not just anyone come out for sickness. No. It's someone who wants, yes, I want to experience the joy of the Lord. I want to really enter the presence of God. I really want to obey God and serve God. Two persons like that come out. I agamba. Oyagara omo yomutu kufu, oku kule ya mugwe, ilo kwe laga, elano kutambuli ya mugwe, ayagara bante ala. Babi, baje ono mumasu nga bagari echi ndwe. So I want to demonstrate praying for you. Now I did not pray for you this morning. Let someone else do it. Ayagara mula laga, I pray for you this morning. Let someone else. Ayagara mula laga. Just two. Two. Stay back. Wait there. Number seven. He likes number seven for what you have been. Teaching. Number seven, you never got it. Number seven, how to be filled with the Holy Spirit? Okay, take care of different problems in life. Take care of different problems in life. Take care of different problems in, in life. Okay. Just relax. Hunger for God. Oh. It's like the Holy Spirit ascends to God. The Holy Spirit flies to God. Now everyone stand up to pray. Open the heart. Let our spirit fly to God. Oh. Turn the camera toward me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, Holy Spirit, come, come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Now you can see that he's swaying in the body. His body is swaying. Now the Bible tells us that. When John saw the glorified Jesus, mm -hmm. he could not stand still. He could not, he fell down. Oh, Holy Spirit, feel his heart. Feel his heart all the way. Feel his heart all the way. Oh, so when I pray, I don't say many things. And I tell you, the power is not in the shouting. Now many people, many people, they like to shout. It's okay too. It's okay too. But what it means is, the power came from a heart to God. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 Halleluj
No, 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 don't go far away. Yes. You're going far away from the camera. Come to the camera here. Okay, now, what I mean is, now shouting does one thing good. Sometimes it will wake up people. Shake their spirit. It will shake their spirit. You say, you say be filled. It will shake them. But, but if you keep shouting, it hurts your voice. It hurts your voice. And it's tiring. Especially if you drive out demons for a long time. If you keep shouting, it can hurt your voice. Now, when I drive out demons from people, sometimes I just sing. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, yes. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, yes, who loves us? Yes, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I got One time I drove out demons from someone, I was singing. Hallelujah. And someone asked me, Are you casting out demons? I said, I saw demons coming out. Yeah, I'm driving out demons. But then she said, she said, how come you're not driving out demons? I told her, when we love God, God will drive the demons for us. We don't have to be driving out of demons come out all the time. We can be praising God. We can be loving God. We can be enjoying God. Hallelujah. And the evil spirit will go away too. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now blow out burdens from your heart with your mouth. You too. Blow out burdens from your heart. Go out burdens from your heart, okay? Now, now you notice when I pray for him, the moment my spirit ascend to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. So I just love God. His presence will come. Oh, okay. Now, turn around. And, now, this is how you have to pray to say, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? So have you experienced anything during the prayer? So tell them. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have seen in my eyes there was a mountain. So, but I have seen it being destroyed, removed. That's what I have seen. It was a hill, but that hill was removed. That's what he has, he has seen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, soon we will have you practice praying for each other. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? 
Now, why do I ask them to close their eyes? Because they open the eyes, they will be distracted. Okay. Okay. So tell what you have experienced. Praise the Lord, my brethren. I have been feeling uh, uh, something to. I, 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 I have been feeling to fall down. To fall down. But he. Uh, <laughs> she say, she is feeling, she is still feeling to fall down. Yeah. Still now. Now. Let me tell you, don't resist. Don't resist. Don't resist. Tell her, don't resist. Don't resist. Relax. The reason is I'm responsible. I'm responsible for you. Because some people, then when they resist, then they don't experience much. But then they relax. But when they relax, some people experience great joy. Hallelujah. They experience great joy. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Relax. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me ask you. Come, come. What have you experienced in your heart and over your body? What have you experienced in your heart and over your body? Tichi chofu na tichi chofu ni mumu timago no mumu wili go no kumu wili go. So he, uh, her heart is now settled. Settled. Yes. More peaceful. Yes, more peaceful. And joy. How about the body? At home, Do you feel light? So he now is feeling light. Not heaven. And comfort, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Thank you. Now, what I want to say is, to get you know? We want to practice loving God. Praying for each other. Now, now, I pray for some of you in the morning. And then the rest, you have not, I'm not praying for you, you can come forward. And then those who I pray for, you pray for one another. They come? Those who, who you never oh, pray. Now listen again. Yeah. Those I have not prayed for, come forward, I pray for you. And then those no, no, no. He's saying, those whom he never prayed for. Listen, those I pray for, you practice two by two. Yes. One lay hand on the other one, but don't say many words. Just say, Jesus loves us. Hey. Jesus is with us. Jesus is with us. Ogame yes akwagala yes akwagala kakali umuganda azibiriza amaso omubuze chichi chafunye mukama fe bazibu neyo bali batasa bidi ayagala bajje 